today I am going to tell you a very important formula for solving an oblique triangle, a triangle which is not right triangle, when you are given with the two uh, angles and one side only. So how you can solve the triangle means how you can find the remaining sides and the angles. So here we, will, we are going to use the law of sines as in our previous lecture we have seen uh, we have used the law of cosines and you have seen that when you can use the law of cosine. So today we are going to use the law of sines. Let's see what is the formula for the law of sines. So the formula is a divided a divided by sine of angle a is equals to b divided by sine of angle b is equals to c divided by sine of angle c. So a, b and c are the side lengths and capital A, capital B and capital C are the angles. So this formula states that the ratio of the side lengths that are a, b and c uh, uh, to the angles uh, to the angles that are opposite to those lengths. So for example in this given triangle this is an oblique triangle and uh, there is no right angle in it. So if we label the sides as the side opposite to the angle A is this, side opposite to the angle C is this and the side opposite to the angle B is this. So this is, so this is angle A, this is angle B and this is angle C. So this is how we uh, label the sides and on the basis of this we can see that the side opposite to the angle A is small a and same as you can see in the law of sines. So this is the formula that you can use to find or to solve uh, um, to, uh, to solve an oblique triangle or solve means you can find the sides and the, uh, and the remaining angles if you are given with the two angles and one side. Now let's see when you can use the law of signs. How you will come to know that, that now you have to use the law of signs. Let's write it so you can have the clear concept regarding this. So the question is when you have to use them. So there are two cases. Case number one is when you are given with the two angles and one side then you can use the law of sines or angle side angle form. Now what is the difference between angle angle side or angle side angle? It means if you are given with the two angles and a side that is not between those two angles. So in order to understand angle angle side or angle side angle, I'll draw here the two small two small triangles so that you can easily understand the difference. So this triangle will show angle angle side. For example, you are given with this angle and this angle and a side. For example, if I say A, B and C, and you are given with these angle B and C and the side is like C is equals to 2 cm. This is angle angle side. It means that the side is not included in the angle B and C. It means you know B and C and the side C. This is angle angle side and or angle side angle means if you have a triangle and what is given is angle it means this angle and the side that is if I say this is B is equals to 2 and another angle that is C. It means you are given with angle side and angle. So it, it will be labeled as angle side angle. So these are the two cases when you are given with the such values then you can use the law of sines. So another case is case number 2 in which you can use the law of sines is side side angle. Now side side angle means you are given with the two side values or two side length of a triangle and a, an angle that is not between the two sides. For example if I draw, draw a triangle if you are given with this is the side A is equals to 2 cm this is side B is equals to 3 cm and an angle that is this is 30 degree. So this is side side angle. This is side side and angle and this angle is not between these two sides. So this angle is non included angle. So in such a case you have to use the law of sines. So these are the two cases when you have to use the law of sines. 
so today we are going to discuss the only case number 1 and in my next lecture i will tell you the case number 2 with the help of example so for case number 1 i have drawn already the diagram in which what is given is angle that is 64 degree so if i write here what is given so you can easily differentiate angle a is equals to 64 degree then we have a side line that is b is equals to 6 cm and then we have the angle c that is 52 degree so here we have the case number 1 that is angle side angle if i label here this is angle this is side and this is angle so we can use the law of sines here so let's apply the formula to calculate the first of all we will calculate the angle uh, third angle as we have given, we are given with two angles we can easily use the formula of formula in uh, in which we have to add them together and to find the third angle and subtract it from 180 degrees so we have to find what angle b is equals to 180 minus 64 minus 52 as we all know that this formula that for a triangle the sum of all the three angles is 180 degree so we have to uh, subtract the two angles from 180 to get the third angle so the third angle is 64 as well so i can easily say that this is 64 degree now we have all the three uh, angles of the triangle now i can use the law of sines to find the remaining two sides a and c so let's apply the formula for finding the this is the angle b so for finding the sides so i'll draw a line here on one side i'll find the side a and on the other side we will find the side c so for finding the a we will get a over sin a is equals to b over sin b so we'll use these two as we know that a is what a is unknown so it will be as it is a divided by sin of a angle a is 64 degree so sin of 64 equals to what is b b is 6 cm divided by what is angle b angle b is also 64 that we have calculated above sin of 64 so we can easily cancel these together and what we will get is the value of the side length a that is a is equals to 6 cm so we have got the value of the side length of a now we'll calculate the other side length as by using b over sin b equals to it depends what you are going to find so b over, as we have to find the uh, 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 side length c so we have to take the la, b over sin b and c over sin c so we know the value of b that is b is 6 so 6 divided by sin of b angle what is angle b angle b is 64 degree equals to what is c c is unknown c divided by sin of angle c sin sin as angle c is 52 degree so we will solve it and what we will get is we will isolate c on one side and move everything on the other so 6 multiplied by sin of 52 divided by sin of 64 and c is equals to if we solve them all together we will get c is equals to 5.2 cm or if i write in blue c is equals to 5.2 cm is the side length of the third side that was unknown so we have got all the three sides and all the three angles using the law of sines so we have discussed the case 1 to in today's lecture and in next lecture we will discuss the case 2 in order to understand how you can use the law of sines when you are given with two sides and one angle and that angle is not included now what does it mean with non included angle i'll tell you in the next lecture so stay tuned that's all from today's lecture thank you